Hey guys, what's up? It is March 13th, 2016. It is a Sunday. And I have an update. I have some stash enhancements. I have some finished projects. I have some works in progress. And I have some spinning and fiber. Um... This is the second time I'm trying to do this video. I'm not sure why, but the video cut off after 28 minutes. It doesn't normally do that. Um, so I've already put the fiber back that I was going to show you guys again. The fiber I had gotten because I realized part of the video from the last time was missing because I had to put the two videos together. So I'm not going to go back there and get it again. Just suffice to say that my friend gave me probably about three or four pounds of fiber. Alright. So some of the fiber was not processed. I've already sent all my fiber except for the um, fiber that I specifically bought in small batches for lock spinning. Um, that was the only fiber that I did not have processed. So I will probably be not probably. When I, I'm gonna do a couple of giveaways and so for a filter or a spinner that fiber is gonna be the giveaways because I'm not sending anything else to the mill and I don't process by hand anymore. I use my drum carter and my hand cars only for blending them. I don't process, you know, fleeces and stuff anymore. That's why I went and got everything done because I, I, I got, I, I prefer to spend my time spinning. That's what I enjoy. That's what I prefer to spend my time doing. Um, so I'm not going to go into that again, but I'm going to show you what I've been spinning and everything. So, I've been working on that bag that I got from the uh, estate sale. It was some um, Lorna laces. And um, this is what I have left out of that 10 ounces. And, uh, which is enough to do another full bobbin. And this is the bobbin that I've finished. So, yeah. It's yeah, so it is what it is. It's real pretty too. It's, um, so I finished that bobbin and I have enough for another bobbin. But what I'm spinning right now is I wanted to see if that fiber had was felted. That brown bump that I showed you guys last time. And um, so that's what I'm working on right now. I'm spinning it on my Spinolution B. I just got my second knee injection. So once I get my third knee injection, I'll be able to start spinning on the Marjorie Craft some more. Because um, you use a different treadling action than you do on your B. But it's a real pretty grayish brown color. And um, it's so soft that I'm pretty sure this is some type of merino. Uh, it's just super, super soft. So that's how much of that I've gotten done. And I'll show you guys the bump in a minute. Okay. So I've been watching, trying to get caught up on some videos and spinning while I'm watching videos. So this is the bump after I. <laughs> yes, a lot. I would say this is probably um, originally close to two pounds, um, but it's 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 a nice size bump of fiber. It's very very soft. I mean, very very soft. But it's spinning up nice. It's not that um, compacted. This is just how it was. It was taken off the carter and wrapped up in a bump. Uh, if it went through the pen draft, it only went through one time. It's not it's not what I would consider a very um a line to line. So if it went through a pen draft, it only went through one time. And it drafts pretty easily. The staple length I would say for this is somewhere around and it, it does have some areas, you know, where there's some shortcuts. You can see there's some shortcuts that like right here. Here's one right here. So, 
that's why I know it didn't go through the pen draft a lot because you still have these tufts of um, shortcuts in there. So, yep. Very super, super, super soft. So, if this isn't a merino, it was some type of lamb's wool because it's so freaking soft. Um, so, yeah, so I'm spinning that. I finished spinning one bobbin of the Lorna's laces. Um, stash acquisitions. So, I got this book. We went to, me and Ash went to Michael's. Friday. Friday, I got my second injection in my knee. And so I met up with Ash and some other local knitters at one of their meetups at this um, I've been in so many places lately it's like it's driving me crazy. <laughs> at a Starbucks. Near where we knit at College Drive at the Panera. Okay. So we went to the new Michaels had just opened up on College Drive. And I've been having my eye on this book on Amazon for a while. And so I went ahead and bought it from there. And I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I also purchased some yarn. It was on sale. Had coupons too. So why not? So I got to sage and dark charcoal. And it's showing up more like a silvery gray, but it's actually a, a darker charcoal gray. Not like a dark dark, but kind of like a medium charcoal. I would say like a medium charcoal gray. But they look great together. Can't tell it from this picture though. So I got those two four skeins. And this is the wool like. There's 600 and some yards, 678 yards per ball. So, hey, not a bad deal for two books each it's so okay that and the other yarn I got was this yarn which is some loops and thread and it was like a dollar and ninety dollar ninety seven I think about so it's loops and thread and this colorway is stormy and it's a three point five ounce hundred gram ball 109 yards. So this is their number five super. I think it's a number five. Is that a super bulky? It's a bulky. So the number five is a bulky. It says an eight millimeter crochet hook US L dash 11. I tried crocheting it because I was going to make some house super socks for a, a, a man. And I tried crocheting it and it was just too bulky crocheting it. So I got two balls of this. And I'll go ahead and show you work in progress. So I got the other ball I went ahead and started. I decided to knit the socks, the slipper socks. They're just high socks. Just to put on, keep your feet warm, you know. And it's knitting up real nice. It's 32 stitches on four needles. Um, and I started with the Turkish cast on with eight stitches. If only I can get all socks this fast. Because I started this yesterday in the car while we're doing a bunch of our running around, grocery shopping, and all this other stuff. So, yeah. So, then I have one last acquisition. And it's this canvas bag. It, had, it was 6% off. So much fun. So, little time. And I'm probably going to use my ink tints, pencils, and color this in. So, so that's everything that I got from Michaels. And like I said, my purchases are more for now. They are with purpose, which means I already know what I need it for. And it's something I'm going to be starting an immediate project with. Um, so, like, I started these socks as soon as I got the yarn. And that wool light will be more than likely becoming a creeper hat for my son. I'll probably hold it double to knit him another creeper hat because this sage color is perfect for um, Minecraft creepers. So that is all of the projects, well, the stash acquisitions for my art stash and for my knitting crochet spinning stash.
So now I'm going to get to my works in progress. I've already shown you the sock. And now I'm going to show you. The man just got home. The shawl. I started number 12 uh, yesterday for the virus shawl. This is the universal yarn and the colorway I'm not sure of. Oh. I'm not sure what color that is. Because they got the wrong label on this one. It says this is reef. But it's not. Reef was a light, was a blue. Not this green. I know they had more than one type of foliage. They had a foliage that was like fall colors, which I have that one here for the next viral shawl. This is foliage, like the fall colors, but they also had a foliage that was greens. And I think they had like a, I don't think this is reef. It has a wrong ball band. But that's one work in progress. The other work in progress I'm still working on is my socks. Yeah, I got much farther on that. I did do some more rows of this. Oh yeah, this was a, a purchase from Michaels too, because I didn't have any size 13 straights. None. I have needles, bamboo, and uh, aluminum at every size except for 13s, which is strange because my bamboo needles was a set. And the uh, other, most of the metal knitting needles and plastic knitting needles were like here and there, and people gave me needles and stuff like that. But there was no 13s in the bunch, not even in the bamboos. Which makes me think that I let somebody borrow my 13s and they were never returned to me. So, yeah. But this is that one row knitting pattern that Steph Stephanie Permit Fee put out for her hands. Print. And um, it's coming out real nice. So now, finished objects. I have two finished objects. The first one is I finished the star baby blanket in the pink and white. And it's Burnett. Um baby yarn I don't have the ball band with me not sure what I did with it but the white is actually it's the same yarn the white is a number three and the print is a number two but it's the same under the same um you know moniker or name or label whatever you want to call it but it came out really nice very nicely and and what I did was after I did the center portion, I did three rows of, let me see that one. That's two rows of the, this is two rows of the print. And then I did four rows of the white, and then four rows of the print, four rows of white, four rows of print, all the way through the rest of the pattern. And it came out very, very nice. Really happy with that. And then the other finished project I have is... The blue virus shawl. Now, one of the blues, the darker one, is the lake colorway. The lighter one, I believe, is the reef colorway. Because it has like some turquoises and dark blues and stuff like that in it. And uh, some little purples and stuff. So, but that one had a ball band on it that said it was lake as well. But you can see the difference in the very, those two, the different colors in them. And this is like a full ball band and a half a ball. So I'm pretty sure when I finish the green one, it's going to be just a little, maybe one or two repeats more than this one for our size, which I was surprised. I thought that yarn, but yarn is so loosely wild. You think you're getting more yarn than you are with that particular um, universal yarn. And I think... Let me see. That's it. That's all I have. Um, maybe the other video was right. Maybe it didn't cut off. But that's all I have right now. Oh, yeah. One more thing. One more thing. All right. So, I received this in the mail. I was trying to figure out who in the world is this sending me stuff and she's being. Um, but it was from uh, one of the people who helped plan the Carolina Fiber Festival. And so they sent some flyers. And I'm going to be dropping these off at Baba's Tuesday night. And it's, that's their website. 
carolinafiberfest.org. You can go get more information. This year it's going to be at a different venue. It's her 10 year anniversary. This year it's going to be at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds. Um, so, if you're a local and you watch my updates, my, my updates, like I said, I don't consider myself to be a podcaster. Um, I just, I'm just sharing what I do. Um, because I, when I think of podcasters, I think of people who actually, you know, buy fancy yarns and, and follow fancy people and all this other stuff. And they have like, I don't know. I just, I'm just me. Just doing what I do and sharing it with people. Um, same thing when I was video, when I was gaming and stuff like that. I used to have a, a, a blog where, you know, I would post like when I was playing video games and stuff. But I don't, um, I don't consider this a podcast because I don't edit. <laughs> if and if I do edit, it's just to throw some pictures in somewhere, and that's very rare, far and in between. The only time I do do something like that is if like this thing cuts off and I have to put two videos together like I did last time. Uh, other than that, what you see is what you get. I'm not doing a production. And because I have other things I can do with my time and sitting and watching hours or minutes long of video and then cutting out stuff, putting stuff in, I just ain't got time for all that crap. I'd rather be knitting and crocheting. So what you see is what you get. And that's always going to be the way it is. Now, <clears throat> if some of my family members decide they want to learn the, the like, video editing and production, they got like class projects or some crap like that, and they decide, hey, I'm going to produce your videos for you. Come right ahead and do it, cause I'm not. <laughs> so, so that's all I have going on. I would like to wish everybody in March a happy birthday. Uh, who has a birthday in March? I would like to tell Jan for brothers. I'm sorry you're bored. I understand, but you must rest that shoulder and wish speedy healing on her. Um, and anyone else who's injured themselves or have knitting or crochet related injuries or spinning or <laughs> weaving injuries. I wish you fast and quick healing so you can get back to your craft. Um, same thing for those draw those artists out there who like to draw and sketch and doodle and whatnot, you know. Um maybe hopefully you haven't injured yourselves either. But um that's all that's going on right now. I have to go we gotta go clean the office and uh then i gotta cook i'm making um dip and cold cut sandwiches that's gonna be our dinner tonight so i'm gonna let you guys go take care and be safe